Bambi and today I'm going to be bringing you all a speed build which I'm so 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 excited about. I am excited to be bringing you guys a build because I don't usually build so it's always fun to kind of release videos which I don't tend to make. Since it is now summer I thought it would be absolutely perfect to release a summer themed build so I did create a beach house which I'm actually really really proud of. I'm really proud of how it turned out. I think it looks really adorable. Of course it isn't perfect because I don't build a lot so I don't have like a lot of practice but I'm still really really proud of it and I definitely do want to kind of play it at some point in one of my games. So this is perfect for a residential lot but you can also use this as a holiday home so if you are looking for kind of like a holiday beach house I think this would be perfect. I decided to place it in Brindleton Bay. I was tempted to do it in Sudlani but I don't know I kind of wanted to go with a Brindleton Bay themed beach house. That's the kind of vibe I wanted to go for so I did plop it down in Brindleton Bay. I plopped it on the lot that you usually go to, like the, the main start lot of Brindleton Bay. I replaced that and I basically popped this there or the beach house there. So it has a lovely view of the sea in Brindleton Bay, which I wish you could swim in. I'm always saying this, but I wish they'll do an update or I hope they'll do an update, which will allow us to actually swim in the sea in Brindleton Bay, because that would be absolutely amazing. And fingers crossed that we'll get an update for that eventually. But yes, I love this beach house. I love the vibe of it. And I hope if you do like it too. So it will be on the gallery under my origin ID Real Plumby if you are interested in downloading this and adding it into your game. The vibe that I went for was, as I did say, very Brindleton Bay, very laid back. I mainly went with the color th theme of like yellow and in the bedroom I did go with some lovely baby blues and I also did a little pond next to the beach house which I've never done before but I decided to do a pond because I wanted some more like water um so I thought I'd add a little pond which I think is really cute. My personal favorite part of the house will have to be like the living room space. It's very open planned so like the kitchen and the living room are kind of connected. I didn't actually place a dining table anywhere because I would imagine that your sims would eat outside so I did place like a little deck area if you will outside because I imagine that your sims would eat there so I'm not sure what your sims would do in the winter time though in Brindleton Bay because Brindleton Bay isn't like Sulani like it's not always warm it literally snows in Brindleton Bay so maybe this would fit a little bit better as a rental lot for that reason like a summer house <laughs> but it is really adorable and I, I love it I love it a lot I adore it I was thinking like you know the Honey breeze. You know how they really like Brindleton Bay? Of course, Finley did adopt Guppy from Brindleton Bay, and I think Finley and Feather's first date was actually at Brindleton Bay. But I was thinking that maybe this could be their like summer holiday home. Let me know if you would be interested in this being their summer holiday home because I think that could be really adorable. But it is a one bedroom and one bathroom lot. I would imagine like if you're going to be using it as like a holiday home, I recommend maybe just like a couple because they're that there isn't really any space for kids or if you're if you're using it as a re residential lot I recommend maybe like I said a couple or just a single sim. Since it is very summer themed I really wanted to just go with a very carefree summer feel as I did say lots of very light colours. I think it's so pretty the living room area because I went with these sliding doors which you can just like look out of and you can see the ocean and I put a lot of like plants everywhere. I tried to find like tropical plants or like tropical house plants to put inside because I thought that they really did kind of fit that vibe. I didn't actually do that much of a like front garden or back garden. I do have like a little decking area out at the front and at the back of the house. But aside from that, there isn't a lot of a garden. I didn't do much like foliage around the house because I always get so lazy with it. Like I did place down a couple of trees and a couple of bushes, but I, I do get a little bit lazy when it comes to kind of adding in foliage to my Sims lots. So it's a little bit bare on that, but I did add in enough that I think it's okay. Um, but yeah, let me know your favorite room of the house. As I did say, my favorite room is kind of like the main area with like the living room and the kitchen. I just think it's really fun and would be like a lovely place to hang out in. I also really like the bedroom though. I did like put in a ladder to lead to the bedroom because I thought that the ladder really added to the beach feel. And to be completely honest, there wasn't really a room for a staircase. So a ladder it is. Ladders are literally a godsend. Like I'm now just realizing how much I appreciate them. I definitely do want to do more builds in the future. I'll probably stick to kind of small
smaller builds like this one here as these are the ones that I do enjoy making the most because I do struggle to kind of build bigger houses mainly because I get bored really easily and I just struggle to kind of fill them in and kind of figure out what to do with them but I think smaller builds I, I do enjoy doing and I think doing a starter house would be fun. I'm not sure how much this lot does cost but it definitely isn't in a starter house budget despite being quite small. I feel like the clutter does cost a lot of money and I do use a lot of clutter so it isn't that much of an affordable house unfortunately but I do think it'd be fun and a bit of a challenge if I did like a start house one day so yeah let me know if you'd like to kind of see more builds on the channel usually when I do builds I people do seem to enjoy them which I do appreciate so I'll definitely be doing them a lot more I actually have my members to thank for this one mainly because someone did recommend that you know maybe for a video that I could post this week I could do a build and then I put that in the poll for the members and that actually won the poll so thanks to the, to the members Members, to my members for kind of recommending that I do do a build and for kind of voting it on the poll because I really want to kind of do some different types of videos because I tend to just stick to my let's plays, my creator sims, my custom content videos so I want to do more builds and I'm really proud of how this turned out and I definitely want to do more summer builds if you have any like summer build recommendations do let me know I think my favorite kind of season to build in would have to be summer I don't know I just I think that like I find it a lot more easier to kind of create those type of homes but I think you know maybe doing an autumnal build could be fun I also like doing like winter builds which are really cozy but yeah I definitely do want to at least post one build a month um because I think that would be pretty good and I want to do builds which aren't just residential lots because I tend to just stick with residential lots as I feel like those are the ones that I can do at least decently but I do need to kind of you know maybe do a restaurant or a cafe I think a cafe could be fun <laughs> so yeah if you do have any you know summer build recommendations do let me know in the comment section down below I hope that everyone's enjoying their summer so far if you are in the northern hemisphere but if you're in the southern hemisphere I hope you are enjoying your autumn or winter I hope you are enjoying the more cooler weather but I so far I'm having a really really fun summer i'd love to hear what you guys are going to be doing this summer what you have done this summer so far i'd love to hear your plans and like your summer bucket list because that's always so fun hearing what like you know people do my favorite season personally is like either autumn or spring so i'm not the biggest fan of summer to be completely honest like i'm learning to love summer i'm kind of trying to force myself to love summer but i am definitely more of a spring autumn type of person but i'm really enjoying summer because i love swimming in the sea and swimming in the sea in summer is so fun and I also love thunderstorms and today actually there was a, like a, a mini thunderstorm it wasn't like a full-on thunderstorm but it was like a mini thunderstorm which I just adored but yeah I really do like summers so let me know you know what's your favorite thing about summer and what is your summer bucket list I'd love to kind of have a little chat about that I think that would be really fun you know are you going on holiday anywhere um if so where are you going I just think summer is such a fun time I am looking forward to autumn though I am looking forward to autumn <laughs> the most and I'm really looking forward to August. I think August is such like a fun month, but I'm also enjoying July as well. I also want to do a summer lookbook at some point. I, lookbooks don't perform too well, but I do enjoy making them. So I may be releasing a summer lookbook pretty soon. I just love releasing videos like according to the season. I think it's always really, really fun. And on the topic of like creator sims, I am planning on really doing like a new CAS series, which is going to be a kind of teen CAS series to kind of celebrate the upcoming expansion pack which is the high school one and I'm planning on doing like creating like different types of teens so you've got like I don't know the mean girl for example the emo kid for example and I'm definitely going to be releasing that pretty soon because I did ask you guys over on the community tab if you'd be interested in that because I've seen a lot of other people doing this kind of series I know that at Simpanions has recently released it so I'm just like I want to do that too because it looks so fun I did ask you guys and everyone seemed pretty on board with the idea so I am going to have a new CAS series on the way do you have a couple of CAS series going <laughs> but I don't usually um, post my CAS series that frequently because I kind of not really like my let's play so I kind of just post them whenever like Plum Townies for example which I need to release another Plum Townies I really enjoy doing Plum Townies they're always such a fun time I love creating custom content free sims but yeah I do have quite a lot of plans uh this summer I suppose when it does come to my videos and I always love hearing your suggestions for videos as well as I always say when I do make these builds if you have any kind of constructive criticism do let me know in the comment section down below because I know a lot of you are built 
builders. So if you are a builder or if you build a lot in The Sims 4 and you have any constructive criticism or any tips, do let me know because they are very, very much appreciated. You guys have really, really helped me with my building when I used to build on stream. I, people were just so helpful and yeah, I would appreciate all of that. And as well, I do want to do a build which is like not a lot of packs because I tend to just like use all the packs that I want to use and I don't really limit myself when doing builds because I think I find it quite difficult as it is to kind of figure out which furniture pieces to use, let alone if I were limited with packs. But I do definitely want to do a kind of build which doesn't have a lot of packs in it because I think that could definitely be an interesting challenge and also I think it would be better for you guys because not everyone, you know, has a lot of the packs and everyone can have all of the packs. So I think it would be lovely if there was a build with not as many packs in it. Uh, but yeah, I definitely have a lot of ideas with my builds and I'd love to hear your ideas as well for them. So as I did say, I really, really hope you love this build. I am really, really proud of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. As I said, let me know what your plans are for summer, your summer bucket list, your favorite thing about summer, even if it's something as small as ice cream. I love ice cream. <laughs> And let me know how your summer is going so far. And if you did enjoy, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video.